This is from, um, what is it? Warrior Poets Society? Oh, come on. How many of these front groups do they need? Um, where, uh, where, what is this from? It's a YouTube show called Warrior Poets Society. Okay. And, uh, all right. Let's, Warrior Poets. Warrior I mean, Poets. That should be what are they, Che right Guevara? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> is this a right wing show? Warrior Poet Society is a right wing show, <laughs> and Madison Carthorn is in uh, some type of like I guess it's underground weird, dungeon prison that is decorated uh, with like uh, creepy stuff. Campaign it, office. You need to get the PizzaGate investigators on yeah. this. Clip. Yeah, it will put <laughs> the lotion in the basket. Okay, here we go. <laughs> You're with it's House about of to get Cards. serious. Yes, I am with uh, Kevin Spacey. And I forget who else uh, was in it. Uh, but anyway, really well done show. Very really, well done very show. Very well done show. But it was so dirty. Calm it was down. about this uh, congressman. Oh, my God, what? Uh, who was, oh, they're talking about Posit. Like, posit. They're, talking nobody... about, they're talking about this show <laughs> that nobody's heard of it's been uh, called here. House of Cards, no. which hasn't been on air for, what, like years? Yeah. yeah. But it's because he's 26. That's why. Because he's talking to his, like, 12-year-old disciples. You're like, Kids, back in the day, four years ago, there was a, a Canadian, another Canadian, who had a sex scandal. Let's oh, talk man. about euphoria or something. Like, right. Uh, <laughs> most of cards. All right, here, go ahead. <laughs> uh, who was Kevin Spacey, who was, I, I think it was Minority or Majority Whip. Yep. What, what was oh, it? Yeah. God. And so, anyway, very, very powerful guy. And it was just kind of like his secret life of all this corruption and power and oh money God, and idiot. perversion. And it was just dirty. How much, in your opinion, because you're you've been behind the veil, is this a fictitious show? Or is this more closer to like a documentary? Is, is it that bad? So I heard a former president that we had in the 90s was asked the question about this. What? And he gave an answer that I thought was so true. And he said, the only thing that's not accurate in that show is that you could never get a piece of legislation about uh, about education passed that quickly. And everything else is good. Uh, aside <laughs> from that, I mean, the sexual perversion that goes on in Washington, I mean, it, being kind of a young guy in Washington with the average age of probably 60 or 70, and I look at all these people, a lot of them that I, you know, I've looked up to through my life, I've always paid attention to politics, guys that, you know, it, then all of a sudden you get invited to like, well, hey, we're going to have kind of a, a, a sexual get together at one of our homes. You should come. And I'm like, what, what, what did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. Uh, and then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy yeah. uh, or, or the fact that, you know, there's some of the people that are leading on the movement to try and remove, you know, addiction in our country. And then oh you God. watch them do you know, a key bump of cocaine right in front of you. And it's like, wow, this is this is wild. Uh, oh, so many thoughts. <laughs> I mean, I. Um, I'm going to go with true. I'm going to say Nancy Pelosi's not inviting him to any orgy parties. So well, that's I'm questioning who is inviting him to the orgy parties. This is my, looked this, up to. this is looked my up to. like judgment on this. The he's not being specifically asked, but he knows of people who have been asked because nobody's inviting mass and call to their orgy. I don't know I, if anyone finds him trustworthy. I, well, I get the sense that he is talking about, I mean, he is talking about senior Republican lawmakers. That is who he's talking about. Well, so in terms of the breaking news, Kevin McCarthy has is having a meeting with him to discuss these comments. What? Yeah. Well, did, 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 uh, is, is Kevin McCarthy getting a lot of pressure from, Democrats or the ma the media? Is it going to be a sexy meeting? Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, Madison. <laughs> God, you're you're really really messing with me on this. What did yeah. How did you have something so quickly? Like, it was it in my your pocket, Emma? There are my keys. keys. Just on my Welcome desk, to yeah. the majority report. <laughs> yeah. Is that why you don't let me come in? I'm only uh, a few miles away. We don't want to share. <laughs> <laughs> Budget cuts, guys. Budget cuts. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I'm going to say. Uh, that sounds right to me. Uh, I, I I believe him. I believe he was. He, I mean, he seems really disillusioned that people that he grew up looking at, you know, admiring over the past 10, 15 years. So there are people who have been in Congress for a while. Um, inviting him to what he describes as sex uh, parties. I mean, it, we don't know if they're actually orgies or if it's just a one on one situation. We don't know. Um but he said it sounds like orgies. And then 
I wonder who he's talking about who have been fighting uh, addiction. I think I know. Well, I mean, think about who's taking yes. on pharmaceutical companies. I'm gonna say Big Teddy Cruzy, maybe. Uh, that was he's my so first. Lame. Wow. He's yeah, so I know. Lame. But that's that's that's. Who else is taking on addiction like that? Is it Joe Manchin? I, I no. I mean, it's definitely Republican lawmakers. Yeah. No, I know. He's I know. not. I'm... There's nobody in yeah. the Democratic caucus who Except trusts Joe Madison <laughs> Cawthorn or likes Madison, Car Madison Cawthorn enough yes. to go up and be like, I trust you. Like, of I mean, course. honestly, how out of your mind would you have to be to be a Democratic lawmaker and go like, oh, I can invite Madison Cawthorn to a sex the party because he won't, he he will, he's not the type of guy who would, who would use yeah. this to, um, to attack me in a fundraising letter or something like that. Okay. No, this is, he, he was approached by people who he and that other person perceived each other as allies. What, Matt, him and Matt Gates together. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking up who who oh, are the Matt champions Gates. behind uh, addiction in Congress on the Republican side. I saw Josh Halley speculating in terms of like people he looked up to his whole life that it would be um, like Roger Stone. Well, it couldn't be Matt Gates. But he's not in office. Because Matt Gates right, wasn't in not, office but... uh, that much longer than 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 Cawthorn. Yeah, or and Roger but Stone is in terms of people invited. <laughs> no, but Roger Stone is known for orgies that's been out for a long time, and he's not some sort of ethical or whatever. Like he's not. Why would that surprise him, though? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. The the other thing I thought was really interesting is this show like a kids show because the stuffed animal on the wall, the way he's like talking Dude. to folks, like there's this thing that happens in Washington that you know if you were on any other, it's it's very like. Spoken that seems to like kids. A weird question to ask on a kids show. I don't think it's a kids yeah. show. I think it's just like or, a like YouTube thing. Teenagers, or maybe it's like a Bible study show. He seems very much like a kid who has been doing a lot of Bible study and then like was dropped into the real world and suddenly realizes sin exists. All right. So That's... here I'm on Chuck Grassley's website. Oh, in oh. December, <laughs> Grassley uh, was uh, passed with John Ossoff a bipartisan no. bill for the opioid <laughs> <laughs> attempt. It's disgusting. You know when he's sending out Madison, those nonsense tweets? The only way that I get to actually he's just coked stand out. up in a uh, to get out of my chair. <laughs> it's funny that the, uh, the, the principles that he says are getting like obscured. He mentions uh, education funding, which I know like working with Medicine Cop that we wouldn't get an education bill that we want, but like as just a generic, oh, we can't we can't achieve education because of all these folks. Also, drug uh, uh, policy uh, is the only reason that I would find uh, scandalous at all that people are doing cocaine. Frankly, to oh, mention yeah. in that context, uh, yeah. Um, and I guess there's not really a, a element for the sex thing, but it does cut across the GOP's uh, claim to be like the protector of kids if they're having a whole bunch of orgies, inviting Madison Cawthorn to it. But. I mean, uh, oh, I have some. But that's a way for him to bolster his QAnon bona, bona fides, as you'd say, Sam. Right? Like he's he's the one who's above the. He's going in on a secret mission. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh well, Matt. I think why could you do all that blow and like have sex with all those women? I was undercover trying to find the pedophiles. <laughs> it was about the pizza guys. Uh, I think it's Susan Brooks from Indiana. That would be her. Wait, what? <laughs> Luckily, wait, I'm just wait, looking wait, at all the addiction wait, people. What? There's Representative Larry Bushin never from Indiana. Up growing up. Who knows? I know, I'm kidding. Who knows? Morgan Griffith. Let's just throw it out there in case the audience wants to Google this stuff. Uh, who else do we have in here? Michael Burgess of and Texas. Just to be clear, you're just listing off people who have, who have staked their careers on being anti-drug in exactly. the house this is exactly. you're not making any claims as to knowledge yes. as to um you know whether madison cawthorn essentially outed these people yeah. i mean again you know um i, I didn't even know these people problem. existed let's just be clear <laughs> these people who are uh, doing these bumps presu uh, presumably have the ability uh to um roll back uh enforcement of our draconian drug laws particularly for mm. dc too right Ooh, I wonder if this is multidimensional, like because it's gone so far with the opioid laws, it could actually impact other drug laws. And maybe he's on a secret mission to stop all drug laws from loosening up because it's gotten too out of control. Everybody on the IM is saying that he's talking about Matt Gates, but he's talking about Ooh. somebody that he looked up to. Yeah. And, his and, and growing up, I mean, so Matt Gates has not been on the scene that long. 
Uh, yeah. I mean, by scene, I mean the congressional scene uh, that long. Ooh. So I'm reading Drew the Ferguson, too, guys. I just have a hard time that any like we all know that Ted Cruz is hated by both his Republican colleagues and Democratic colleagues. I have a really hard time thinking he's getting invited to an orgy. No. I, yeah. Oh, my God. Well, you paid for that stuff, guys. <laughs> Come on. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, some Ted Cruz rolls in. <laughs> Can you imagine a kink that hey, involves everybody. being attracted to Ted Cruz? Yeah. That is... That's like somebody who, you know, you just... Yeah, that's... That is the one kink I would shame. Right, yeah. That's not like I you haven't... can't even hate have sex with that person. That's more just like he's so repulsive in every way that it's not even a, a fun kink. But anyway. Okay, I finalized it to a few people. <laughs> Kevin Brady from Texas. That guy just, I mean, he's been arrested for uh, substance abuse. Uh, mm. He's on ways and means. He's vehemently opposed to Medicare for all. Uh, I sure do know the ways and the means. <laughs> Six to I know the ways around your means. I got oh a nice Brady bunch in this bag right here. Yep. <laughs> guys, stop it. <laughs> then there is. Um, Ever seen a snowstorm in Texas? like a blizzard <laughs> yeah brady all right george i like that i like brady as a candidate if we were playing guess who i'm leaving right? his face right up <laughs> i know he got bush's co-connect oh but we got another one we got another one in for the running neil dunn of florida uh just his face i just he's he just looks like it. all right <laughs> i mean listen it's florida i think like one out of three three floridian oh, yeah. men does have orgies whether they're conscious of it or not Sometimes a flip, flip, but the, flip, the old flip, flip, invite it sounds like it's coming <laughs> from an older person, yes, 60 or 70. I mean, it's the we, phraseology the way, of that yep. was very interesting. I mean, play it again, play yeah, it again. Actually, we oh, it's, go it's, back. Like, that's it. we gotta, uh, this is the guy, get, uh, Florida and Texas, baby. I don't want to hear the the you know the the dumb question like that. Yeah, go go right there. Why is he wearing a backwards hat? <laughs> <laughs> It's cool, man. Documentary. Is, is it that bad? So I heard a former president that we had in the 90s was asked the question. Clinton, about probably. Obviously. And he gave an answer that I thought was so <laughs> true. And he said, the only thing that's not accurate in that show is that you could never get a piece of legislation about, uh, about education passed that quickly. And everything else is good. Uh, aside <laughs> from that, I mean, the sexual perversion that goes on in Washington, I mean, it, being kind of a young guy in Washington with the average age of probably 60 or 70, and yep. I look at all these people, a lot of them that I, I, you know, I've looked up to through my life. I always pay right. attention to Pause politics. it right there. Okay. So let, let's just track the way his mind is going. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. saying, uh, you know, there's a lot of sexual perversion. Then he moves to being a young guy, a lot of the average age, 60 or 70. So he's now all of a sudden, like he says sexual perversion. He's thinking like, this is weird. What's gross to most? I'm young and you're That's old. Right. And, oh. uh, and then, uh, just go back a little bit. Just, we're just tracking the, the movement of his, you brain. know, his brain thinking here. Go ahead. Goes I think on I Washington. found the guy. I mean, it, being kind of a young guy in Washington with the average age of probably 60 or 70. And I look at all these people, a lot of them that I, I you know, I've looked up to through my life. I've always paid attention to politics. Through guys, my life. You know, it, then all of a sudden I you know. get invited to like, well, Hey, we're going to have kind of a, a, a sexual get together at one of our homes. You should come. They're like, what, what, what did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. And then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. Yeah. Uh, or, or the fact that, you know, there's some of the people that are leading on the movement to try and remove, you know, addiction in our country. And then you watch them do, you know, a key bump of cocaine right in front of you. And it's mm. like, wow, this is, this is wild. So it sounds like he went to those parties and saw somebody do a key bump of cocaine in front of him. Or was even just no, scandalized the by the invite. Yeah. Um, which is, I mean, look, I, that's the thing is like, I watch House of Cards too. Um, sex parties and cocaine are not the worst things depicted in that. There's also <laughs> the murder, assassination. The murder, yeah. the murder was bad. The murder of the journalist. Um, yeah. The, the multiple murders. That was a problem. Oh but, yes. Wait, can, can I tell a little story? This is this is great. When House of Cards was running, I lived in this part of La uh, Lower East Side, like really, really, really far by the East River, and like no one was ever around there. Like no one even knew there were apartments there. By the way, secret place to go find apartments in New York City. And one day I was outside and I was like, the that's. Subway. Not near. It's like a mile from the subway. Ugh. I'm like on the corners pouring rain. I'm like really obsessed with House of Cards at this time, like watching it, you know, totally binging it. One of the first binges. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's the chief of staff. He's in front of my apartment. And my friend's like, you're effing delusional. You're like seeing the characters, which I totally was because I kept, kept seeing like Robin Wright and whatever. So I'm in my elevator one day and he's in my elevator. Who is? He lived below me. 
the oh. chief of staff. And so I had a friend with me who's the campaign manager who goes, yo, I do what you do for a living on the show. And he goes, you murder people for hire. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh the chief of staff from what the show? What was his name? Yeah. The fixer. Yes. Oh, okay. The fixer. Oh, weird. Was, that is weird. So then he's super cool, though. And he had, uh, he basically put two apartments together downstairs. Okay, I think I have, I think I have the final, I think it's Kevin Brady or Neil Dunn. Neil Dunn, okay, Kevin Brady assumed office in, in 19, okay, he was in the Texas House of Representatives from 91 to 97. Then in Congress, in 97, he's in senior leadership. I can't see him doing cocaine without dying. So I'm assuming that like he might have been part of the sex stuff. Different, yeah. The other cocaine people. Was, hmm, interesting. Exactly. But I think well, Neil Dunn, who's from Panama City, Florida, let's think about that for a second. Panama. Uh, mm. <laughs> all I want to say is that is um, that Maybe. it is wrong for Kevin McCarthy to try and silence. Yeah. Um, uh, I this it is censorship. Well, the cancel censorship is going on. This Ugh. is talk about shadow banning. Oh yeah, <laughs> damn, doubling down. Um, take Cawthorn serious, not literally. He was trying to point out Republican hypocrisy, not necessarily call anyone out who pushed anti-addiction legislation. Um, I don't know. You never well, know. Yeah, These I people mean, think multi-dimensionally. What do you mean not not literally? What 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 am I serious? I don't. About? Yeah, I don't understand. 